What's going on to all my Aries? You have the Three of Swords, Ten of Cups, the Judgment, Two of Cups, Ten of Wands, the Fool, the Ace of Wands, Four of Pentacles, the Devil, and last but not least, you have the Emperor. So what I'm seeing here for a lot of you is a lot of you uh, Aries, <sighs> Like I said before, Aries, a lot of you Aries have put to put aside and put behind you the heartbreak of your past relationships. Like I said before, uh, months ago, right, since December, y'all are starting a, a new chapter in your life. You don't care about the past and the people talking trash and giving you a difficult time. Again, your life has completely turned around. I don't know how many times I have to say it. Your life has completely turned around for the better. The Two of Cups and the Ten of Wands represents you're, you're leaving behind the dysfunctional relationships. If the relationship does not cater to what they want, what you want, if you don't get anything out of it, if, if they are only the ones that's benefiting from it, you are not going to be in a relationship with these people for very long. And a lot of you Aries may be get becoming more attentive to um, the person's uh, dysfunctional tendencies if they if they have any serious di seriously dysfunctional tendencies, right? So the fool, right? If if they're delusional stuff like this, the fool, the Ace of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles is obviously okay. Obviously, you've been meeting some dysfunctional people <laughs> who are delusional about what you Aries represent and what you Aries got going on and what y'all bring to the table. And they're thinking that because you look a certain kind of way, because let's face it, Aries look good. I mean, there's a reason why it is that, I've, you know, I, I've, I've dated a lot of Aries people, a lot of Scorpios, a lot of Capricorns. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason why. And the reason why is because y'all Aries, y'all know who, who I'm talking about. Y'all Aries look good. Banging bodies. I, anyway, so with that being said, <laughs> um, people are coming at you like you're just one dimensional. Obviously, you Aries are not one dimensional. You know, Aries people are usually very smart. They like to hide that intelligence for some odd reason i don't know but they like just like libra they like to hide that intelligence i don't know why by by the enthusiasm and the fun but at, and that's a good thing it to a certain extent because you are fun but at the same time aries likes to hide their intelligence and like oh well you know just settle for fun you know what i mean let's let's just settle for fun let's just do that and the Fool and the Ace of Wands and the Four of Pentacles is about how um, they're really, a lot of people are really, you, you've been approached a couple of times just like that. But a lot of you Aries obviously are not going for that. The Devil and the uh, Emperor represents how a lot of you Aries are like, really, is this how it's going to work? No. And you're taking control of of. The, the people whom you date, the emperor represents Aries. So you did show up in your own reading. So it just goes to show you how strong of an influence and it's the last card on the main board, but it just goes to show you how strong of an influence you Aries actually have on, on yourself and the world around you. You know, if people are not coming to you Aries, you know, correctly with, with some sort of respect, obviously you Aries are more aware now because the situation with Aries is y'all are a zodiac sign. I'm doing a video. Thanks. Y'all are a zodiac sign where my mom was in the background doing her own thing. She guarding it. Anyway, <laughs> um, so y'all, you Aries are a zodiac sign that, like I said before, a lot more a lot more uh, book smart than most people give you credit for because of your attitude and your enthusiasm. But at the same, trust me, 
all of y'all are because every single Aries that I've ever met has always had some sort of book smartness around, uh, you know, about them. And I'm just like, well, why don't you reveal that more? Like, why don't like, OK, like you fun. Yeah. Uh huh. You look good. You fun. Yeah. But why don't you reveal the book smartness even more? I'm not a full-blown Aries like that. I got an Aries moon. I'm not a full-blown Aries like that. So let me know in the comment section below why, you know, why y'all do that. But I mean, it, I mean, people have to at the very least show you some form of respect. You know, people at the very least have to come to you with some form of respect. The Fool, the Ace of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles is about how people just, you know, they see you, they they see the banging body. Because Aries people are very attractive and and gorgeous. Anyway, and they start losing their mind. They start thinking that, you know, they can, sorry, they can talk to you anyway and, and approach you anyway. And obviously you Aries aren't going for that, right? So the devil now represents, again, people have to come to you with more respect than that. You know, they have to come to you with a better quality approach than that. You know what I mean? Like you want a relationship. But the thing is that you have the emperor. You want what you want. And you're not going to tell people what you want so that they can mimic it just so that they can link up with you, so to speak, and get what they want to bounce or get some money out of you. People have to show people have to represent already what it is that that you see about them in order for you to actually potentially do the approach because if there's one thing that i think you and scorpio and, and you know that i like is your directness you know what i'm saying like i think everybody needs to be a little bit more direct as to who and, and what they want like because that would re on, on some real stuff and I may write about this in my book if I can remember and fit in a, a good space for that. More people should be more like y'all Aries and Scorpios in the sense of be more direct when y'all want something. Because that honestly cuts down a lot of the issues and a lot of the potential problems that people end up having well into the relationship. Because, because there's too many mis there's too much mystery surrounding people when it comes to dating when you're just trying to get to know somebody people can play on that right now of course i'm not saying that i'm not saying that you know people need to hurry up and make a decision y'all two are just now getting to know each other but people what i'm saying is that you got to know the difference when people are trying to get to know you and when they're when they are playing when they're trying to play off of it when they're trying to when they're trying to be like, hmm, okay, let me act like I'm interested sometimes and disinterested other times. Right? So, um, let's clarify some cards, actually, because there's a lot to clarify. Because, I mean, this is more so, this, I mean, this reading is. Aries is, is the easiest zodiac sign. Aries and Virgo is the easiest zodiac sign for me to read because Aries is more so y'all, you know, your new readings have a little bit of old readings, you know, attached to them. So let's clarify the, uh, let's clarify the fool. The Temperance, Five of Wands, The Fool, okay, The Nine of Pentacles, The Ten of Pentacles, right. So to clarify, we have the Temperance, the Five of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. Again, they can't come at you disrespectfully like this anymore. Uh, they couldn't before. Every now and again, they may have been able to get away with it. But they're not being able to get away with it now. Because the temperance is about... The temperance is about being temperamental, right? Watching somebody's temper. So 
what I'm saying, what I'm saying here, and, and the five of wands, what I'm saying here is if someone is coming at you disrespectfully, you Aries may tell them, look, don't come at me like this because how are you just going to approach me like as if I'm a piece of meat? You understand what I'm saying? And you will let them know that. And they're not necessarily going to be expecting you to, to tell them that. And this is what I mean when I say I love the directness because more of you, I, you know, everybody needs to implement the Aries approach in that regard sometimes in learning how to be way direct and just saying what's going on because that cuts down on a lot of the BS because there's too much passive aggressiveness. There's too much, I got a problem, but I won't speak up and won't say what my problem is, but I'm going to try to find a way to get back at you instead of just getting directly to the point and, staying and saying, hey, look, don't come at me like this. I'm not a piece of meat. You need to show me some form of respect here. I, I may have talked to you if you know you didn't approach me like this because it because it is disrespectful you know because that because you're not oh you're not only your body you know obviously you aries have a mind and I, as i was just talking about but the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles represents but you know they're gonna they're they're not necessarily really gonna take that too seriously but what I, but what i will but what i will um say here is is that even though they're not really going to take that too seriously, um, they will listen at the very least to what it is that you have to say. And um, they're not, they're not, dysfunctional people are going to continue to be dysfunctional. They're not really going to change their approach, but they know not to mess with you like that, right? And when I say mess with you, I'm not even talking about people that, you may know. I'm talking about people when it comes to passing that that approach you like this, and you basically give them a lesson like, "Hey, listen, don't don't disrespect me like this because how you just showing up like this and really expecting me to just out of nowhere give you all this amount of respect when you're treating me you like a piece of meat." Now, of course, they're going to treat other people like this because they're not going to learn their lesson, but they're going to learn their lesson with you. Let's clarify the de uh, the devil. Let's clarify the devil. And the reason why this reading is important in the first place is because you're going to start to see an uptick of the of how different you are compared to others in the sense that you found your decency and you're holding yourself yourself to a certain standard, but then you're going to start to notice the difference in how other people are indecent and it's going to, it's going to become more prevalent. It's going to make itself even more and more aware. You're going to see what I'm talking about. That's why you got the devil, but let's clarify the devil card anyway. You know, some of you areas are going to be like, what is wrong with people these days? So to clarify, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Death card, which is Scorpio, which is the other zodiac sign that rules Mars, just like you Aries do. The Three of Cups, the Magician, right? And a Magician can also sometimes represent Scorpio. So the other zodiac sign that rules Mars. <laughs> so the Three of Pentacles, the Death card, okay, is about, again, you're looking for something foundational you're looking for a real relationship the the death card here and you are starting to like i said you're starting to notice the differences between yourselves and people who are dysfunctional so there's there's much more with the devil card there's much more of an emphasis now for you aries to get rid or to cut off or to stop hanging around the people who waste your time because they are slobs. <laughs> They're slobs in, in essence, right? Because of their dysfunction. You know what I mean? Because people who are dysfunctional like this, they think that they have more control than what they actually do, in, including more control over themselves. So the way that they picture themselves, which is not true, they picture themselves as being <coughs> civilized, upper class individuals that don't really seem to understand that the way that they're moving 
the more they continue to act out with these games is the more they end up showing that they are uncivilized and that they can't be taken anywhere. They're not meant to be taken seriously. But they think that they're this wise upper class that people need to listen to. Like I said before, inside of the head of a person who's delusional. So the three of cups and the, the three of cups and the magician now represents. So as a result, this is about how um, you Aries look at this situation, and you you look at this situation, and you're like, yeah, this is why it is that a lot of you you Aries are thinking to yourselves, this is why you're staying single for the time being. It's because you're still looking. Let me come back. You're still looking but you will be the judge of character. It's not somebody else that's going to convince, um, try to convince you that they're good. You, Aries, now with this newfound knowledge, will be the ones that are the judge of character. But that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Um, if you found value within this reading, then it means it's time for you to come get a personal reading from me. Um, I don't know if I said this, but click in, uh, there's a link a link tree, click on it, and it'll redirect you to my social media pages in ways you can uh, uh, support me. But um, trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of June. As of right now, we have 5,400 subscribers going to 5,500. We're a little bit over the mark. Let me tell y'all something. When I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to give the first two people who who email me free 15 minute to roll readings, give back. But hey, it's only, this is a secret only for the people who made it this far. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.